Welcome to the Empire by this ramp and welcome to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today in the Italian Wars mod from Medieval 2. Where after a short, pretty short uh, vote, uh, we were able to pretty easily see that the Holy Roman Empire has won the day. I find it hilarious that we're fighting a campaign that is primarily focused around Italy and none of the Italian factions won. Fucking love that. I kind of find that hilarious, honestly. But we're going to get on into this where we're going to go with long rich conditions where... Uh, some of these cities I know where they are immediately, but that is not in English, so I have a rough idea of where some of those might be. Others, I am not sure. But we're going to be focusing in on the victory conditions that we have set out for us, and it's going to be interesting that this is going to be a campaign that I'm not used to, because this is a very clear, direct, just pike and shot uh, kind of time period now. Very late of uh, 14th century, getting into the 15th century. Which I'm going to find interesting. Also, I do find I don't like this. They start off the game with the Fog of War off. I actually like having it on, so I'll turn it back on. So hello, welcome traveler, and welcome to Renaissance Italy. Uh, whether you play as one of the Italian republics or principalities, the Pope, or one of the surrounding realms, in your endeavors you will encounter a number of probably unusual things. Okay, so caution ahead though. Do not expect that everything will just play out as history books. Yep, no shit. Um, da -da -da -da. Just going to skim over some of this stuff. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, so I have been very aware of this, therefore I shall know our Terry buttons to put out special features. So, um, okay, so yep, there is just the a little bit of uh, upkeep when we're moving through our lands, talking to campaigns. Um, uh, interesting. So they can be more become more expensive through hiring them. Uh, almost the various wars. There's a reformation of the advance of the Ottomans. Should you at some point manage to deprive the papacy of its worldly power, then you can even have one of your cardinals left as the new pope. That's, yep, that is, ooh, that is if you control Rome. Actually, if I remember correctly, uh, one of my victory conditions is straight up, I actually have to control Rome. Um, let's see what else. Your generals and nobles can build up relations with the church too. Um, ooh, that would not be bad. I would definitely like to have some nice St. John. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see, trouble times are imminent, and not only on the peninsula, but also the North of the Alps. New Vilma's cause, so far unseen. Hmm. The Swapping League uh, acts uh, de facto independently of the Emperor based on their inherited castles. Some of the King of France. So we might have some stuff going up right around, up and near on our, our main area. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, so claims to the throne. So this is just going to be, uh, it seems that the French kings have evolved seeing that sort of situation. So there's just going to be a war between France and Naples. Okay, it's not between me right now. Um, diplomatic information. So let's actually look at that first. So right now, um, thankfully it gives me an update of that every once in a while. But okay, so I start off out of Spain, which if I remember correctly, they've got some land over on um, uh, Sardinia and Corsica around here right now. Um, the Margrave of Mantua, uh, you guys... I think are somewhere around here. Then there's Florence, who should be right around here. We've got the Swabian League, who's actually like right next to us. Yeah, they're right here. And then we have Savoy, which... Damn it, I should remember where Savoy is. I think it's like over here, right? I think Savoy's around here somewhere. But we do actually start off with some allies, which is nice. Um, Money-wise, I'm starting out with losing money, which is not the best. Um, also, I do want to have it so that, let's see, so here's my faction leader is right here in the city. This area actually doesn't have anything that's free upkeep right now. Do I start with any spies? I do not. Um, I have my, let's say I've got a merchant, I've got a diplomat, I've got a priest. So I will have it so that you, we need to try and find some sort of good trade resource. That's 70, I don't even know what that is. I think it's just iron, 70 there. Not a lot of things. I, oh, that's 118. Ooh, there's gold. How much is that gold worth? It does not tell me. But let's make our way over there. I'm going to send my, dip, uh, my merchant over there to try and get that money. And then I want to try and see. So it looks like I can get up to three free upkeep units in these forts. I don't know if it's more than that. But I do need to try and gather together my elite units that I have. Um, can I even recruit spies in any of my current cities right now? Because I want some spies to kind of go about and get me some map information. Nope, there is none. I know there's a lot of rebels around here. Um, I don't like that we start off with that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, I know 
First and foremost, we're going to increase the tax rate because actually, it's interesting. I decided to look through this model a little bit eh, before we started this campaign, and certain cities cannot grow past certain points, which is kind of interesting to me. So, like Freiburg here, for example, uh, this city can get up to large stone walls. But if I go to, uh, I think this, yeah, Salins over here can only get to wooden walls, which I find fascinating that there is that slight difference. Um, I am going to try and have it so that early on, wait, are there no spies whatsoever? Oh, no, there are. You just have to have the second level. Okay. Um, I don't make a lot of money, but we do need to go through all of my cities and try and adjust the taxes to try and help that out. Because we're not losing a ton of money. We just need to make sure that cities are growing a little bit. I know I'll definitely be moving my king out of here as soon as I can. For the first turn or two, we're probably going to be trying to just get some money, get some spies, and then I need to kind of collect together all of my armies that are not free upkeep. And then I'm going to start trying to... There's a lot of rubble land all over here. So I'm going to make sure that we're going to start trying to focus on that stuff first. So there and there. there I can pretty much put almost all of you guys to high taxes. So that should actually save me quite a bit of money um, over time, which is going to be nice. Just like right there. You can, yeah, you can also get to very high taxes, but maybe you want to hold off on that. But that then makes it so I'm now making 1600 as opposed to losing money, which is great. Um, so the areas I want to kind of focus around, um, I know wine, yeah, wine, wine. Um, you actually have a pretty good area up here. I can get that to get a bit more trade. That can only cost 1200 so you know what? I'm going to grab that. And then you already have quite a few units that are free upkeep already here, which is good. This area... I do want to start trying to gather men together. So let's try and gather some guys over here. There's already quite a few over here anyways. Any unit that's not free upkeep is going to try and gather together and do that. So like you also try and make your way up here. Because I know there's some rebels up around this area I want to try and go for. Um, down around here... Let's see, is there any area that I have that already has level 1 inns? Or does everybody only have... Or does nobody have been built up at all? Because I want to build basically an, uh, an inn on the left side and the right side. So that I can have a spy over on each side trying to look for land. And it looks like no. Nobody does, which is great. Okay. So let's kind of go back over here first. We're going to kind of focus our attention over here first. Um, Gratz, uh, as long as you guys have the second level... I can get a spy. So let's have it so you guys try and get a brothel in Gratz. I'm going to have then one over here. Because you guys can get... You can't get to it. No, this one can't. You guys can. So you guys can get to the level I want. So you guys also grab a brothel. Um, I've got a lot of mercenaries around here. Nothing that's free upkeep. Which kind of bugs me. Same thing over here. I don't think these guys will be free upkeep. Um, and I don't actually have... Oh! That's new. Land clearance is actually tied to some of my troops there. Interesting. So I'll actually have you guys grab that so that I can try and get some sort of free upkeep units around here. You guys, I'm going to try and... I know the city guard had free upkeep. Um, I know you guys have free upkeep. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else around here that has free upkeep. Because you guys don't have any... You guys are free upkeep there. These guys are as well, the militia. So try and get as many free upkeep units as possible all over the place. Because if I don't have free upkeep, I want to move them about. Let's take like these hand gunners. Uh, do I stay at war with anybody? Oh, the Ottomans, but the Ottomans aren't anywhere near us right now. So I can have you grab this guy over here. These are all free upkeep around here. And then you've got a bunch of excess guys too. Try and get some more free upkeep. And then let me see if I can take these guys out of there. I can. Okay. Keep gathering them ar again around uh, um, Altaberg. Um, Altaberg. Over there. Okay. Um, let's see. So you guys are fine. Because I have a, um, I'm getting a spy over there, a spy over here. Then we want to try and get more money. So we're going to try and get some farms. Let's see. Going to get the roads, because those roads will give me a decent amount. Um, you guys around here, you don't have any free upkeep as well. So again, if we don't have free upkeep, I need to recruit some guys for free upkeep. So you've got some. As long as everybody has at least something for free upkeep. Oh, you didn't have anything over here. But then, you know, yeah, again, you guys don't have anything for right now. And I think then... Yeah, I think that's it for recruitment. So then let's just get a bunch more farms all over the place, because that's the cheapest thing we can get to give us some more money. Because that'll, on average... Uh... Seven corruption. Uh, only 30? Ouch. I'll actually probably want to save up and get the town hall for you guys instead there. There's a lot of corruption around there. Uh, my capital is currently set to... 
the far fucking east. Of course it is. Okay. Well, my capital's right there. Uh, more of my land is over here, though, right now. Okay, I probably want to make sure that if I'm going to get anything... Yeah, corruption's a lot lower around here. It's five. I get about 30 there. Okay, so that's something. I think that's it for this turn, essentially, because what we can do, though, is um, I do want to try and talk to my allies, try and get proper map information, because I do need to make sure I know what's going on around these areas. And how much does it cost for watchtowers? I don't even know. Costs more than 180. So it might cost, like, 200. I'm going to hope <laughs> at most maybe that. Because um, for right now, I know there's a lot of rant land over here. But I think more so I'll actually kind of try and consolidate around these areas, if anything, for regions. So let's do the end turn there. And uh, see how things are going to go. This is going to be interesting to see how we first have to try and consolidate. Because we are very spread out initially. So I'm very happy that this mod is going to make it so we have a very interesting start. Because I don't have... I'm not a consolidated power. I'm split up pretty... I'm, I'm fractured rather hard, harshly. Because I've got like... Uh, I've got one main pocket on the east. And then I've got two little pockets in the west. So I kind of want to consolidate a little bit more on the east. Uh, I, well, I could do one of two things. Focus all of my attention just on the east. I know there's quite a bit of land between my allies and myself that I can grab around here. Or... What I can do instead is I can try to expand my influence a little bit more on the western side and consolidate that more so it's a bigger blob as opposed to being those two separate little spots. Either one I can see working. It really depends because I'm curious what they were meaning by like something's going on with the Swabian League. Hopefully they don't decide to betray me at some point or anything like that. It'd be nice if my allies actually like me for once as I've been having a lot of campaigns recently where they fucking hate me and I've just been fighting against the entire goddamn world and I don't want that right now. Not at least right, not not right now in this campaign at least. Because it does look like for this campaign, my victory conditions are essentially saying, hey, kind of conquer, because it doesn't look like this is just Jazz yeah, River. Um, basically, I know I have to take Rome. Uh, this guy here, Emperor Maximilian, I will take you. I don't know if you have upkeep there. Uh, take Rebel Settlement, um, Little Hassan. Um, that actually is in an area that I want to go for, so gladly. So what we can try and do is, oh, actually, um, that unit right there. Uh, send you up this way. So I want to send you over that way. Um, first, let me see. How much does it cost for a... Oh, it's literally right there. Uh, it's got four units. Honestly. Let's start sieging that right now. Get over here. So they've got one cab unit. They've got two pikemen. And a crossbowman. Not that bad, actually. But I have, like, no infantry. So, also, I do have military access with my allies, correct? So, the Sea Republics... Usually be very hard to control, but if you are uh, successful, there'd be large benefits for you. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's see. So, Swabian League, I'm assuming I start with... Yeah, I do have military access initially with them. Okay, so that's nice. I actually started as the strongest faction. Wow, that's kind of surprising, honestly. Okay, but we do have that. Oh, I actually have some men over here. Ooh, yeah, you're not... You're not free upkeep. So I'll send you over that way. I'm going to wait. Um, Because I kind of want to have it... So, oh, actually, if I had enough money, I could just grab you, and that'd give me some sort of infantry. But I don't have that right now, because what I want to do... Well, actually... Uh, are they happy without you in there? Not at this tax rate. If I lower it down to low, then they're fine. Actually, there was not that big of a difference. Not a 300 difference. But no, let's have it so that you try and go group up with them. So it looks like initially we're going to start trying to gather uh, some uh, support over here. Because if I can kind of build myself out in one area, that would be nice. I would like to connect eventually, but for right now I've got a mission over here to take that city, so we're going to take it. Uh, and then everybody else around here, again, we're just trying to gather you guys together. Because I've at least got, like, these two other guys here. And then I was given that... Yes, so what we're going to try and do is... Um, is there a big difference if you're the one that's watching over the city? No, actually, not really. Okay. Uh, I then want to try and take my king out of here. I know of a rebel city, actually, right over there. Uh, Munchen. Actually, so that I need to take, actually. 
Well, you know what? It's got a garrison of about eight guys. Let's have you guys go out of here. Grab my faction leader. And then lower the taxes there. And then I'm going to start making my way up. I'm going to hope this doesn't negatively affect my economy too much. And it costs 250 for a watchtower. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's painful. Okay, well, let's talk to my allies. Uh, I want to try and get map information from you guys. 400 for three turns. Um, sure. That's not that bad. Uh, it, it, it's something, at least. I need to get some more information around here um, before I can start properly conquering, conquering these areas. And about 1,200 gold. It's not that bad, I guess. Um, I will. It will take me a couple turns until I can actually get some spies. So what they control right now is... Okay, so a lot... There's a lot of land here. And that is... The Swiss actually are right there. Okay. But next turn, at least, I'll be able to pro take this city. Unless they sally out, which I don't think they will. But this battle, if they attack us, at least. I've got a lot of cav. And uh, I've got the guns. I just don't have any infantry, which is what you guys are for. But I will have it so that next turn, you will be going up there. I'll probably have it so... Uh, for right now, at least... I'm trying to gather most of you guys maybe around a uh, line. Because if I can have you guys gather around here, I can then maybe kind of... There might be some cities over here I want to go for. Otherwise, we'll start making our way over to the west. Money-wise, I'm still making some money. And I do need a glorified watchtower builder. Although I don't have many. Because so many of you guys are sitting in the forts for uh, the cities right now. Awesome. I'm already bankrupt. Gotta fucking love it. Uh, another candidate for adoption here. Actually, give me a second there. Um... Uh, that's not... Oh, I need to be careful if they're going to actually have uprisings for high taxes. Rebellious peasantry. Oh, it's literally just peasants. Literally all peasants. The uh, rebellious citizens, though, those ones are actually decent, but interesting. So that's directly north of me. Not what I want to deal with, um, but I'm probably going to have to. Okay, well, let's get to you over here. I do want to check my family tree, though. So, my faction leader actually, wow, does not, there's not a lot of my family tree right now. So, I've got my Archduke. Who's my Archduke? His Archduke is currently in, yeah, he's over there in the line. Okay. And for report, construction report, a lot of land clearance. Got all those brothels done. Um, I'm losing money. It's primarily because of the moving around in enemy lands. That's the main Kaiser. issue right now. Yeah. So once that's gone, um, I will probably yeah, want to Kaiser. get out of these units. Because I don't know how much devastation actually does in this mod. Some mods it doesn't do anything. Some mods it's devastating as hell. Um, and then at the moment, you guys are all free upkeep. There we go. And perfect. That's what I'm going to see. Okay, well, I'm going to have it then. Let's have my um, faction leader just stop right yeah. here. Don't go any further because then you can hit that city next turn. I don't want to get that excess um, upkeep for moving on in there just yet. And then... Oh, yeah, it is just a random rebel faction that spawns around back here. Okay. Uh, well, they're right next to a fairly large army, at least. I, I've been able to collect quite a few guys around here. You then now have some more free upkeep around there. I'll have to double-check and see if maybe these guys are free upkeep. I don't know if they are. Because I know these guys aren't right now. And this city... That barracks... I actually can't recruit those guys around here. So those guys will never be free upkeep units. Um, I will have to probably check and see. The burgundy units aren't bad. Because, let's see, there's units attached to random things, it feels like. Roads. That's going to feel so weird that there are some areas that I just can't build up. It does. It is kind of nice. That means like I can complete it out an area off pretty quickly. But um, it'll make it very difficult to defend some of these regions. But let's get on in here. Let's take uh, Mulhausen, because this area here, with our army now, as it is, with these uh, mercenaries, I should be able to fairly easily beat this back, because I have a cannon, I can break down the walls rather nicely, and then um, I have the guns, as long as I can get them kind of flank, um, I can have it so that we can just unload into those pike units of theirs. Um, they had a crossbow right for a skirmisher unit, so they do have something. I do have quite a bit of cav, though, at least. Um, let's wait on this... Try and get rid of the bad terrain, uh, weather conditions. There we go. I actually have a lot of cavalry, too, because uh, I've got uh, four units of it. So what we'll do is, yeah, these are all... I do have one crossbow unit. Okay, so I've got one crossbow unit, three infantry units, and then I've got some gunners. So let's have it so initially uh, break down the gates. Try and break that down. Probably only going to take one hit, and then it'll fall and crumble. And then we can start trying to surround the enemy forces. 
Did you miss? Did you seriously miss that? No, there we go. Try and break down the gates there. Uh, they do have towers. I wonder if I could, I could break their towers if I have enough ammo. Uh, first, let's try and make sure we break open some wall sections. Probably going to take two hits to actually hit them. And then I can probably start having it so... Well, my crossbows, let's use right now. These are just the pipe in. I do wonder... Um, let's see. They're pulling back. Can you actually get a good hit on them from there? That's a giant blob. Come on, can you actually, like, uh, thread the needle through the gates there? Because I know in this mod, I'm going to be actually relying on cannons quite a bit more than usual. Aw, you missed. Okay. Let's have it so it's get you guys to break down another section just in case. I'm going to have it so my infantry... Let's see, where's the skirmisher unit? Skirmisher's in the back there. Cav, I think you guys can start trying to run on in here. So let's have two of you run over there. Two of you run over here. My infantry, try and make your way over this way. I think you might be fine to stop firing possibly soon. I'll at least move my uh, crossbows forward a little bit. And then guns, I'll have try and get to... Probably have put some of you... Okay, one of you over here. Two over here. You can stop firing. You can stop firing. Because I think you guys um, don't need to focus on that area for right now. Just need to get my men in position. Okay, the crossbows here are kind of vulnerable. Let's try and have you guys hit them for right now. Because then I can have it so that... Let's see, so my cav. Keep going around the back side here. And basically what I'll do is I'm going to try and have it so that you guys can kind of support these units. Um, what are you doing? That's not the way I told you to go. I told you to go around this way. What are you What are you doing? Go around here because I want you guys to be able to flank and I'll have the cav support them. Uh, I'll have at least the crossbows. You'll just get set up right around here. Um, and then I'll have the other gunmen kind of go around the back side. Because the moment I'm just fighting the crossbows. That's the only unit I'm fighting for right now. I'll have it so that we can kind of get my uh, one of my guns set up like right here, and then I can try and unload into them. It's like you try and yeah, kind of set up here, and then I'll have yeah one of my cab units kind of go around the other side. General stay around right about here in case that guy decides to attack us. And now crossbows just freely unload into the enemy units here. Number wise, only two percent have died. I do wonder if I could get a position with my cannon to maybe thread the needle like right here. You want to make your way over there so you can start trying to thread that needle? Okay, they're currently letting me just actually sit here and shoot them. Although I think, honestly, most of the damage I've done so far is because of you guys, possibly. Um, you guys are fighting their Imperial Knights. I don't have you guys set up in position just yet. Try and line up there. I don't know if you'll be able to get some shots in, but try. Because this is a decent unit. If you can get some good shots in around there... Oh, good gibbets. They cup gibbets. Um, you guys, that cav unit... Let's see if you guys just kind of run on past there. Let's go try and help out my cav. So trying to run around here. As you're fine as you are, the infantry is ignoring you. And honestly, you should probably be able to break them if they even start trying to make their way up to you. So keep making your way over there. Uh, still fighting the crossbowmen, so keep focusing your attention there. A lot of the guys are here. You guys do not have a good angle there. Let's try and pull you guys back. Let's try and have them kind of follow us so that I have a position to shoot them from. So yeah, kind of right there. Now you can unload. This guy can't shoot through there. I can't do any uh, thinner lines here. But that is at least enough now to help out. Here's good there. This gunman, I would say, can try and now line up here. My other cav. Keep looping around over here. Keep trying to at least fight this unit. Although my gunman guns are doing some good damage to it, so I can probably have you guys just kind of sit there as you are. Alright, we've been able to take out the enemy general. So the captain's now dead. Pikemen are now routing. Cav, you can please try and run them down before they get back to the city center. As these pikes can do a lot of damage, and I do not want that. So you guys just yeah keep freely unloading into them. They should ideally break now at this point if they try and get out of the city center. Because they're wavering, and I think as soon as they're outside of it, they'll break and shatter. Yep, there we go. So now we're just going to be shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, Cav, do kind of back off. Don't chase them. Get back here, guys. Because I want to have it so that now what we'll do is I can just get my arch my skirmishers into position, surround the city center, and just unload and kill them all. I also just realized that as soon as I finished that initial sentence, I realized that, oh yeah, I'm actually committing so many war crimes as I'm just shooting them all to death as they're trying to just surrender at the city center if they could, but they can't. 
But there we go. There's uh, a first of many settlements for our conquest now. Um, I wonder if those peasants are going to make their way over here immediately, or if they're going to kind of just wander about randomly. Because I think they are tied to this current region, I believe. And nothing, like, north of us right now. Um, I'll just sack the region. And then kind of zoom in. You guys here, so kind of repair those walls. I yeah, you spent money on that, too. Um, so you guys can get the German citizen militia right here. So do grab that. Because I will need to try and make sure that we try and get as many free upkeep units as possible. Merge men together when you can. And then this area is very upset. Um, why is that primarily? It's just unrest and distance to capital. So, not surprised by that. I do want to actually move my capital westward if I can at some point. Because I don't like how far east it is right now. It's way too far east. And I feel like I'd rather have it eventually in Innsbruck, probably. But right now, at least, uh, it's not the best for us. Because it's just... I have so many... Of my, so much of my land is over here. Um, I do think... Because I just recently finished... Um, where did I get that anyways? Because I put that in get grass Because I need to get the inn around here to start trying to scout in the area. I'll probably save my money. Yeah. I should have enough money to build that up next turn. And then we can start trying to get my spy to kind of wander around. Um, over here, um, I did just finish it over here as well, but I don't think I'll have enough money to get the one over here. But, I do at least have the map information with my allies, and so we should be able to just kind of focus on the land that we noticed from here around here. Ah, uh, yes. I will grab you. Um, oh, candidate. Oh, okay. Never mind. No candidate, I guess, for us. Also, that gold. I just checked that before the intern. I saw it through the, the last intern. Um, it's worth about like 300 gold. Per, uh, per, for my merchant. So, I definitely want to try and get some merchants over there as soon as I can. I start trying to trade those resources. Um, I'm not sure what else might be a really good resource to try and focus on. Gold is always a good one. Um, besides gold, I don't know. For this time, oh, there's silver there right next to Trent. Venice, uh, offer me trade rights and map information. Damn right I'll accept that. There was no reason for me to disregard that, because I... We'll eventually probably have to fight Venice, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, essentially, I need to... Oh, I swear. Hi. This, this is going to be the start of the many grudges as to why I might have to want to kill Venice. Yup. Yup. You guys just had to do that. I was starting to like you because you offered me trade and map rights, um, map information, without having to pay for anything. But no... You just stole 300 gold from me per turn because you decided to acquire my merchant's assets, you assholes. Another cannon for adoption here, though. I'm going to hold off on that for just a second. Uh, new mission. Send emissary to Swiss Confederacy, and I will get a unit. I will gladly do that. So it'll take you guys about two turns to get down there, and I'll see one of their armies, which at the moment these are just my allies. Ooh, I really like the model for your unit there. Nice. Um, okay, so ooh, there's the rebellious peasantry. Hello. I do not like you doing that. Let's see. Um, I need to move out of here, but you guys are really pissed off as is. Um, I might wait until you guys, because you just have you didn't have any artillery pieces. Uh, I can wait until next turn. And then probably hit you guys. Although I might have enough movement to pull back and get back in the city. I just know you guys are pissed off. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. The hordes arrive! The peasant hordes arrive! <laughs> I love that they're a horde faction. That's so stupid. I love it. Because um, how much is the unrest going down? It's going down by not much at all right now. But this is going to give me some more. Um, law bonus at least. That's something, at least. Okay, well, what we can do for right now... I do think I should hit that army, though. You guys doing anything else around here? I will test around here if this guy's free upkeep. Hopefully he is. Um, if he is, then... Oh, do I don't want to wait on that. Because I do want to get a spy. I just don't have enough money now. Um, I think we'll be fine. I will say, though, let's try and hit this army of peasants. Let's leave behind you. Is he going to run? He is going to run. I wanted to fight you. This area is going to be pissed off, but that's okay. Do you have enough movement to hit them? You do not, technically. Um, I don't need the cannon. Yeah, we don't need the cannon for that. Not with what we've got here. So, let's, uh, let's get rid of these guys. And then I will, uh, have to turn back around, watch over this city again. It feels like this, uh, it might be better for me to actually... I would prefer just to do sacking, as that would make it so that the areas are, uh, a little bit... 
Well, they're not as happy, but I will make more money and people won't hate me as much. But honestly, I probably feel like I'm going to need to exterminate areas, honestly. Um, that's probably going to be the way that we're going to have to go about it. Um, let's get my infantry to kind of group up here and here. And then I need to have it so that what we're going to do... And kind of doing a check their board formation. I need to make sure you guys are spread out as much as you possibly can. Because, sadly, I can only do, like, uh, I think Medieval 2 only lets you have fire by, like, maybe the first two lines. First two ranks. Everybody else, if they're a gun unit, will not fire. So to get the most out of them, we need to have them spread out as much as possible. So start that board deployment. And then my cav. Let's have you guys kind of run around the backside. And we're going to try and have you do is we need to get rid of the cav unit. Also, it's called a peasant bodyguard. But he's mounted, isn't he? No, it's straight up a peasant bodyguard. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, I love this. I already love this mod. Holy fuck. Really? T defense skill of 12. Attack of 11. What the hell is this guy on? He's on fucking roids or something. Okay. Well, you guys, uh, wait until they advance onto us. Because we've got guns. They have the one archer, but that's about it. I prefer to be able to shoot that guy, but if they're not going to advance onto me, I'll move up a little bit. Because, let's see, try and go... Try and go right there. Try and run forward. My cav. I can probably honestly hit the rebellious peasantry just immediately here. Because this unit should absolutely crumble under my cavalry. I have mounted cavalry, and I've got a bunch of guns over in the other force. Like, these peasants are not going to do all that well, especially because I know... The gun units have a morale penalty. Uh, you guys are technically actually a kind of a halberd attack. Doesn't really matter when I kill 50 of you in the first charge. So there you go. Are they going to break? Uh, I wish I knew what you were saying, my announcer man. Um, I don't know how to switch you to English, sadly. Because I don't speak German, sadly. Uh, but no, you guys are running on there. Let's see the guns are being attacked. I don't like that. Let's kind of run back around. Just have all of you guys make sure you're in guard position. What we're going to do is... Those are the rebellious citizens. I don't care about you. I do care about getting over to my forces, though. Uh, so, Oh, they are breaking. Okay, so you guys are good. I was kind of worried they were going to actually uh, stay in melee combat there with you guys. But no, you're good. You're breaking them. I will have to make sure I run them all down. Oh, here comes the peasant bodyguard. Uh, please shoot him point blank range. Nope, just going to let him charge on in like that. Okay, that's still the way we want. Uh, Cav, try and run this guy down. And then I'm probably going to run down the uh, archers after this. Because the fourth their army's already dead. He's just holding. Really. As long as you guys can hold and I can shoot, we have a wonderful combo made in heaven here right now. Uh, let's see, these guys, please break on that charge. This is, yep, there we go. That is one of the better units they have, though. Them all down. I think we should maybe turn them back around and get a charge in here. Because I know right now their general is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Get a charge in there. I'm going to be kind of charging over here. Try and get them all to chain route. There we go. Yeah. We are really going to have to make sure we worry about um, friendly fire, though. Uh, Cav, let's ignore them for now. Let's uh, let my guys kind of shoot them. We need to focus on the peasant bodyguard, who is uh, actually doing quite a bit of damage around here, which I don't appreciate. So charge on into him. That should kill him. Even if he has good defense skill, he does not have good armor. He's now dead. Let's see, so hunters are alive there. 82. Let's run them down a little bit more. Let's have it so kind of spread out. Spread out. Let them be shot at by my own units for a little bit longer. I want to get a little bit more of you. Right, so you go there. You go there. And my general, um... Yeah, run those guys down. Alrighty, there we go. So now, this uh, band of peasants has been eliminated. Perfect. Um, most of my casual kills were on you guys, actually. 181 kills, not surprised by you, but 126. Because usually it's actually pretty difficult to get uh, good kills with the gun units in Medieval 2. But I'm glad you guys actually can do quite a bit. As I know... I hate that there's not as many heavy infantry armies that will get a uh, away with in fighting here. Um, wow! Can I actually ransom you? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Thank you for just paying me 15 fucking thousand gold to uh, capture and then I'm going to kill you again. Oh, that's the kind of uh, economic development we need. Crushing peasant rebellions. <laughs> oh, we're off to an interesting start here for this campaign. I love it. Okay, keep getting more farms. Keep getting more farms around there. Uh, Innsbruck here. 
You guys, uh... How much is that gonna get in tr increased for trade? Not a lot. It's also pretty cheap, though. The farms are better, honestly, for increasing trade. Yeah, that's a decent enough amount. Now I am gonna be able to, though. Uh, so first, let me, before I forget, go back over here to Graz, and then let's grab the inn. And then same over in uh, the city, in um, Com. Grab the inn, then I'll be able to actually get some spies next uh, in four turns. Four turns I'll be able to get some spies. Everybody else put money into economic stuff, so get some better farms there. Um, better farms here. Oh, actually, I almost maybe need to get somebody that has better... Ca uh, actually, because of the amount of corruption here... Wait, is that seriously not going to increase the law? No, it doesn't increase it further. Um, oh, that's where I've been able to recruit those guys. Just my tax income bonus, though. Um, I probably would say, I think for you guys, because of the corruption we have around here, let's have you try and get the town hall, because that will help reduce corruption, so that will, in, in, uh, in effect, oh, inadvertently, um, increase my income. Let's have you guys get the communal farming. Because you guys don't have really good trade going around these areas right now, so I'm not going to focus on that. Keep focusing on farms for right now. There's not a lot to build in these areas, honestly. Um, honestly, actually, I should make sure around here... Ooh. Luster factory. Fruger factory. Cattle market. That's actually... That's a good building no matter what. A little bit more trade. A little bit more administration, and it will get more growth. Yeah. Yeah, go with that. Relations worsen. No shit. I just slaughtered a bunch of peasants. I wonder why they hate me. Okay, now gather around here. So we've at least started to gather some of these forces together. Um, and then I... Did I get that other... I did get that other general, right? Yes, I did, or I thought I did. I did not. Okay, so let's actually grab you guys. Pull you out of here. Keep making you move on up. Because um, I think... Yeah, no, my king can get there this turn. Okay, so perfect. So, I'll have it so you gather these guys together. They will try and join his army. Because these are some basic pikemen for us. Um, and then my army here. Yeah, I've got some good news. Also, ooh, I don't have enough money for it. Well, honestly, I think that cab would be useful. Um, I might want to stop something. Ah. Uh... Let's see if I need it first. Because I don't I might not need it. Because I, I need to see what they have in the city. So I've got three cav units. Um no, you know what? I think we'll be okay. I, I think we'll be okay with what we have just here. Number wise is pretty even. Uh, I'm gonna grab it. So let's make sure let's get rid of then it was um not you. It's one of the second level ones. Yeah, so get rid of that one. Then I can grab this cavalry, grab that, so we have a little bit more to push on in. Let's take you guys out here, that way we at least now outnumber them now. Because again, most of these pike units I'm going to avoid fighting in melee. We want to make sure that for the most part I just shoot them all to death. Take advantage of my guns as often as I can. I know I've only got the two, I've got the two crossbows, I don't actually think I have guns in this army. Right, I think I just have the crossbows. Even so, the crossbows will be good units to use. Um, so search deployment. Yeah, we've just, just the crossbows. Um, and then we do have the serpentine uh, cannons. So you guys need to just break down some wall sections for us. Try and break down the gates first and foremost. And then I'll try and have it so we break open some other sections so that we can walk on in and kind of flank them. Because I'm hoping that what they'll do is please go to the safe center. I do actually have some of my uh, Habsburg house guard here. You guys will be really nice in melee, although... Oh, I can't really replace you guys, sadly. Not yet, at least. It'll take a while to be able to do so. Cannons. Are you seriously missing that badly? Please tell me you're not. The other cannons did fairly well, but you guys are really bad shots, it seems like. Or is your damage just that much lower? Let's see, damage... Oh, damage from buildings 10. Uh, am I going to have enough ammo for this? You do more damage versus units. So how much do you do per hit? Is it one damage per hit? Please tell me it's not one damage per hit. 
I, I need to see if both of you hit that. It's one to two percent per hit. <laughs> They're not moving out right now, so I'm gonna make sure I'm point blank range. I'm only going to be able to get the gates down, possibly. Ah, uh, that's painful. So I literally did not have enough damage with these serpentine cannons to break down the gates. Fuck. Okay, well, I now know that those things are worthless for breaking down gates. Um, that's wonderful. They do more damage to infantry, it says, so we're just going to be pushed back for now, at least. I'll have to just make sure I properly build actual... Um, decrease. God, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Yeah, his stash is to keep... Honestly. I almost wanted to get rid of this thing. It's fucking worthless, honestly. This is going to impale several men. Like, that's something, but like, for now at least, you're just going to be sitting here. Uh, next turn, I'll have you start sieging the area. And then start trying to uh, get some siege equipment for it. Honestly, this army, probably going to try and see if I can do the same thing that we just did there. And see if we can get more money from the peasantry. Because, like, let's see. Rebellious peasantry. How much money do they own? They, they have a lot of money. <laughs> so, honestly, that's probably going to be the way that I kind of fund my... Oh, do I have... Can I actually get this true candidate? Nope. Can't get him for some reason. Don't know why. Let's see. We've got another guy here. I will accept him and see if it actually goes through this time. Um, what else? So, God said for the merchants. So, there's a chance for merchants to acquire this book. Ooh. Sadly, mine was... Removed. Uh, you guys are riding over here. Yep, not surprised by that. Um, I'm hoping I'll have enough movement to, like, hit these guys. My eyes are right next to it, too. Because, like, let's first push these guys back. Uh... Again, I don't need the cannon. If I don't have the cannon, uh... This area might rip. Oh, actually, I can get some troops here. So, try and get the militia there unit, and that might be enough to help it out be okay. That has some public order, so maybe you guys be okay. I want to hit you again to see if I can get some more money out of you, but honestly, I should probably pull back. Make sure the city's happy, at least. I know he's right there, so I do want to get rid of him at some point. Because if I can get another 15k from that, that'd be great. Um, just finish the town watch around there. Perfect. And then you recruited. Is this guy free upkeep? No, he's not. Okay, then just get fucking rid of him. There's no reason to have him. If he's not free upkeep, there's no reason. So, that's annoying. That's very irritating that I don't have a unit that's free upkeep around this area. Or actually, maybe it's just more so. No, free upkeep units too. This, that unit is not free upkeep, which sucks. Okay, well... For now, at least, I'll pull hold off in uh, Mulhasen. For now, you guys just kind of watch it over there. For now, um, I don't want to forget that you are supposed to be making your way over here, because I will be getting a you be given a unit. Hello, would you guys like trade? Barely accepted. Um, what about map information? They will accept that. Awesome. And then I wonder, do I want to be allied to the Swiss? I don't see a reason why not to be. I can at least try and see, like, what they consider, uh, the offer. Um, because right now, uh, relations are so-so. Balanced. Meh? Yeah, fuck it, okay. We are now, we now am allied to the Swiss Confederacy. Uh, can I then get military access from you, too? That is rejected. Okay, that's fine. But I've at least got that, and then what units did I get from this? So I got uh, Grand Bombards. Okay, that's not a bad unit, honestly. Um, let's grab the units I have around here. Um, and then what I need to do is, let's see. So I know I want to take that because that's the area that has the gold. I'm still waiting uh, three more turns to be able to get some stuff around there. But the Grand Bombards are not bad. Pretty expensive. But what we can do is I'm going to take you. Let's move you out with these guys. And then I want to try and make my way over and consolidate over westwards. Let's go over that way. Grab the bombards we just got, and I'll get one watchtower to kind of slowly build up the vision around this area. Because without construction or recruitment, I'm actually making a decent amount of money. Somewhat. I'm making some money right now, at least. And I know, like, right now, I'm about to finish building a bunch of farms in a couple turns. And if this guy doesn't get that far, at least, I'm going to kill him again and try and keep getting more money from him. Uh, and it's like, what, three turns? Yeah, three turns until I can get some spies. Oh, and then, again, siege it. Get Just, just get any sort of siege equipment, because I'm going to need it, as I cannot assault the city immediately. Hello, France! A cinematic view, force will be right here. Why? 
I don't know, but okay. I'll, I'll trade and get map information from uh, the Kingdom of France. I wonder if I can get you guys to ally. Oh, you're allied with Milan, Genoa. There's actually a lot of people here. Oh, no, they're allied with Savoy, too. Maybe. I'll hold off on it for right now. I could try and offer you guys an alliance. It's very demanding. Never mind. They are probably not going to accept that. Because, damn, they have a lot of land over on the western side of the map. They have, do also have a little nub down near Naples. So that's going to be interesting to see if they're going to expand there and actually take a bit of Italy for themselves. Because right now, this is kind of on the side of the map. I am hoping that we can avoid a war with France. We might have a war with them at some point, though. I could see it. They're a pretty big power. They're also consolidated. I am not. The cannon for adoption. I will accept you. Although, actually, now that means that I'm not going to be able to have any um, actual sons on my own. Uh, well, no, actually, no. Technically, my faction heir is my actual biological son. So he will join them. Um, and it looks like the cities of... Oh, that's what we just saw here. Yeah, the city of Naples surrendered to France. Interesting. Construction report. I am now no longer the fr strongest. That's not France. Okay, construction report. There we go. A lot of farms just finished up. You guys just finished your town hall around here, too. And it'll be in... Um, two more turns that the stuff around here finishes. Money-wise, I'm making money. It's just I'm losing money because of uh, my forces being sitting out right here. So what we're probably going to want to do is... Can I leave out of here, please? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's just do this. I want to have you hit this guy. You're going to run. I do have enough movement. Please, let's do this one more time and... Let's make sure we capture the man. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. We we need this. Uh, we need the leader of these peasants to sell off for 15k at pop. Like honestly, I'm gonna abuse that if I can. If I can keep capturing this man as opposed to killing this man, oh, I'm so gonna fucking do it. I'm so gonna do it. It's so worth it. Uh, group up there, there, and then there again. We're gonna blob up my guns. I'll have to be a little bit further back this time. I think they were a little too close to my infantry last time. Because I want you to be able to still kind of shoot while my infantry are shooting. But I don't want you guys to be um, threatened by the forces that they've got. So grab my cav, grab you guys up, go over here, crush a battle, and then uh, they should advance onto us. Make sure you guys have guard boot mode on there. Same with my infantry. They still have quite a few of their archer units. Are they going to advance on us at the moment? No. So let's just go harass them a little bit because we can hit the rebellious peasants a little bit. Probably do a good chunk of damage to him. Again, we don't want to kill the general. We want to just capture him. So let's make sure we focus on basically everybody else in his army besides him. And then we'll try and have it so that we can capture him at the end. Let's have yeah, you run on in there. You guys kind of go to the side a little bit more. Get that charge on in there. Good amount of damage. You're probably gonna break these guys with this charge here. Uh, no, Back for a second. I guess running, yeah, run them down. Peasant bodyguard unit is coming right on up. Okay, if he's gonna charge on in, let's make sure we hit him. Because we want him to charge something and then hit him so that he has nowhere to run. Yeah, get some good damage in him to weaken him. But he's running! Yeah, capture, run him, run him down, run him down, run him down. Come on, capture him. Make sure he's captured. There we go. So we should have captured him there. So now we should be able to sell him off for another 15k. <laughs> I love this. Uh, pull back for a second. Kind of get back closer to my forces. Well, honestly, are they all going to break now? I would assume they might. Uh, no. Some are still fine. Yeah, pull back. As we technically might not want to specifically kill the army entirely. As, uh, I'm not opposed to letting this man free and then killing him again. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's gonna fucking hate me. Yeah, because this let, lets you guys get close. My guys should be unloading on you. Yeah, they're shooting what they can, and they're instantly breaking. Because now that guy's running. I think, yeah, run them down. Because I think it's basically just that unit that's left. Yeah, hit this one rebellious citizen unit again. Should shatter. There we go. Yeah, let's run them down. This guy should probably be able to be ignored. And then let my guns finish him off. 
There we go. So, not that many casualties. I love it. I, I love how literally for this campaign so far, the start of it is just me continuously crushing uh, peasant rebellions. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping this continues to be a thing. Like, if there's just hordes of peasants all over the place, maybe it's uh, historically accurate, maybe it's not. But it's fucking hilarious, and I love it right now. So, <laughs> you let me do this again. Ah, it was rejected this time. Damn it. Well, hey, this guy should have just been able to... Well, yeah, Volt suppressed. Damn it. I was hoping they would sell that uh, guy off again. But no, he's a uh, man of the hour. Technically, he's on one of my family trees somewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. That has now been crushed. I appreciate that. Um, I don't have enough money. Oh, actually, I do need to make sure that you guys here... Well... How does Venice feel about me? Because I want to make sure Venice doesn't start declaring war on me. Very poor. Um... I should probably make sure that... I was going to try and gather you guys together so that I, I can move you to somewhere else, but honestly... At least give some guns over that army so that in case they attack me, I've got something. Like, same with you. I'll... Well, I think that's fine as it is right now. You guys might be able to get something else, actually. Hey, you know, you guys actually get some good... Uh, ooh, that's actually a pretty good unit. Yeah, those guys aren't bad, too. And then, yeah, so that's a pretty good cav, actually. I think I actually saw that unit in um, the Zardom's mod, actually. If I remember correctly. I, maybe. Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, and then let's see, so what else we got over here is we still have this. I do want to probably at least take this city, and I think we'll be done for today. Because now we actually have siege equipment, so we can actually fucking do something. So we can actually take this city. Oh, actually, uh, how close are these guys? Uh, you are... Yeah, I need to take it now, though. I can't let you guys sit here for two more turns when that's making me lose a thousand gold per turn. Um, you just sit here. Let's get rid of this, take uh, Munchen for ourselves. And then we've, we're in a better position, I would say. Uh, the That surplus of money from the Peasant Rebellion honestly helped a lot. Um, now we need to try and have it so that that force over there, it'll be two turns from now, three technically, uh, that I'll be able to have some uh, uh, spies to walk about and start trying to honestly... Why? Are, no. You guys switch. You pick up the ladders, as you'll be a far better unit to put on ladders. Where's the other ladder? There it is. Than uh, this pike unit. So you go there. I'm gonna have you uh, go back here on this side with my cavalry. So we can have you with my cab go over here. And I've got crossbows here. Um, I think we'll stay as they are. They do have some guys. We've got some crossbowmen here, spearmen there. Um, I think. They actually don't have a lot over here. They've got, like, what, one unit? Crossbow. Oh, no, they've got some pikemen right there. Um, well, you didn't do a lot of damage to the walls, but what about the army? Let's try having you try and hit the passive crossbowmen. Pa 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 oh, my God. Pavis. Pavis crossbowmen. Uh, you guys can try and go over there. And then this unit. Let's bring you over uh, this way. Bring you over this way. Try and get you up onto this wall section. Then I can have you walk over. And as long as you don't fight the pikemen, I think I should do really well. Or actually, I think if I want to do that. No, there's a lot of pikemen over there, too. But let's see. So you guys. Let's see. Are you going to do anything to these guys? Ah, that did some damage. Killing four guys with that shot. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Um, but let me actually try and have it so that uh, this guy. Let's have you try and uh, walk up and around. Put my other crossbows too. Um, try and get this gate open up here, and I think I'll actually send my cap over that way instead to get them into that section. Okay, these guys are now up onto the walls. Let's have you try and focus on this uh, crossbow unit here. I'm gonna hope because let's see the stats on these guys. If they don't have their formation, they don't have a really good defense skill. Then essentially, um, they do have a decent amount of armor, but you guys have a pretty high attack. Not effective against armor, but you also do have a 15 attack, so you should be okay there. Um, they are going to start bringing some guys up onto the walls, though. Let's see where they're going to drop those guys off. At the moment, I'm a little worried that you guys might... Oh, yeah, they're going to split their forces' attention right there. It's not what I wanted. Hopefully you guys can still do well here. Try and focus on the pikeman first, technically. Just focus on him, because you can kill that unit first, then we can slaughter the crossbows. Um, you guys are just about to get to the gates there. You've been trying to just keep focusing on the units that are around this spot. Um, 
You know what? Actually, wow, that pike unit is actually... Really? Oh, yeah. They killed nine guys in that shot. Nice. See, you guys are not good against um, buildings at all, but no, you actually do quite a bit of damage to infantry. I appreciate that. You do a lot of damage over there. These guys over here, that's 18% of their forces are, are, are already dead. Probably because of just this guy alone, honestly. Because, yeah, like, get over here. Keep killing that pike unit. You're about to break down the gates. Uh, they are bringing their general over here, though, with the other cab. Um, yeah, I'm going to want to pull you guys back. Break the gates down, but then pull it back after that, I'd say. Because like, this unit here, I'm kind of tempted to have you. Uh, maybe push on in there. Actually, let's do this. Bring that over there. Just still break down the gates, but once the gates are down, what I'll do is I'm going to try to get them onto this wall section right here. Okay, I'm starting to run out of time. I wanted to be able to just kind of sit around and wait for my crossbows to get in position. Uh, I don't have that time, so I'm going to have all my cav here. Start rushing on in here. Cav, kind of, or my general's bodyguard, be the last one in. Um, to start trying to focus on these Imperial Knights. We have enough men that I think we should be able to push on in, because we have the same unit, essentially. Um, yeah, literally the same unit, but we have more of us. So ideally, we'll then be able to push on in through them. Because I can actually try and have it so, like, you guys are trying to push on in here. You're actually doing a pretty good amount of damage there. These two, try and get your way over here. And if you can, then I can have you kind of help in the These gates here. Because yeah, you guys are rushing on in there. Number wise, a third of their army's dead. You are still... Let's ignore those... Oh, those are more uh, cross uh, skirmishers. Because let's just have you keep munching through our units. Because at the moment right now, you're over here killing a good portion of the enemy army on your own. So keep trying to do that. Cab is trying to focus on their cavalry, which is doing well. If I can get this unit through, because let's see right now, there's not a lot of those guys. Um, try and make your way over to this pikeman, technically. And then you guys are trying to make your way over to the gates to help out. Crossbows, uh, you guys might actually be able to have a good angle if I get you a little bit closer. Okay, finally killed the enemy general. So he's now dead. Hopefully they'll now start breaking here. I do need to make my way over to the city center and start trying to capture that. Uh, you guys started to get off the walls, and I didn't want you to actually do that. Because uh, right now, honestly, you guys do better when I can have it so they do not have the formation attack. Because if I can get the pikemen up here... Also, you guys are down here. This group of four is just saying, yeah, no, fuck you. We don't care if you have these giant pikes. Oh, these five. There's five of you guys here. They yeah, keep killing this guy. You think you've disrupted the formation enough? That's fine. Uh, cavalry here. Let's see. I keep trying to run them down. They've still got some pikemen right there. Uh, I've got my guys trying to make their way on this way. Because let's have you guys kind of make your way over here. Crossbows too. And then I'm gonna have my cav. Um let's see. They've got a third of their army left at this point now. I'm probably gonna have it so that my cav can go help out over there, maybe. But basically my infantry needs to make their way on over to start trying to push on in through this guy, and then I can surround him with my cav after that. My uh house god have now been able to finally break free of the fight they were in. Now make your way over here to start trying to flank. Cav, you're trying to make your way over here to try and push on in this way. Because right now they've got, let's see, what is it? 84% of the forces have now died at this point. My infantry is trying to push on in. It's just taking a while. I might need to try and have you guys kind of push more in here. If you guys can. To try and get onto the city center. Because right now I'm a little worried that we're going to run out of time, technically. Because like, their guys are doing okay. I'm getting my guys over here. And have you start trying to hit the pikemen. Like, they don't have a lot of you guys left at this point. Please don't attack them just head on like that. I'd prefer if you attack them from some other different angle, possibly. That'd be great. Cap, get back over here. Crossbows, you're also supposed to be trying to make your way over this way to start trying to unload on them as well. Because we're cutting it really fucking close. If I do lose this again, I can just turn around after this. Because I've done so much damage that we can very easily finish them off. Yeah, by the skin of our teeth. We won that. Almost ran out of time. Almost. That house guard, ooh, 400 kills on that guy. Not bad, man, not bad. I like that unit. I can't wait until I can get more of them. I need to figure out where I can recruit them from because it does. it is pretty much, there is regional recruitment where I'm only able to recruit specific units around specific areas. And so I will have to figure out where I can actually recruit that unit from. Um, I know I already found that in Innsbruck, if I get that one cav unit, I can get, uh, I'm gonna try and exterminate because I wanna see if you guys are happier. And I also didn't even do that much to the economy there. Um, just to make it so we can probably leave here sooner. Yeah, there's no unrest at all. 
So yeah, we're, we're definitely going to just be exterminating the areas. Uh, Merge men together. You actually recovered a lot of those guys. Nice. Um, Soul better. Nice. I'd like to see that. And then trade increase. More dread, of course. But yeah, there we go. So now at least we've got another city up here. And uh, this I know is controlled by my allies. But now, I know one city is right over here. I definitely want to go hit that because it's got the gold in it. They've got to have some other cities around here, so we'll probably be continuing to try and consolidate our forces around here in the next video. But I like this mod so far. I haven't had any crashes yet. Just knock on some damn wood for that, just in case. Um, and it's off to a good start. So I'm going to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in general. But this is Rampain, and I'll see you guys next time. You can try and consolidate our forces around here in the next video, but I like this mod so-